Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk on network topologies. What is network topology? Network topology is the arrangement with which computer systems or network devices are connected to each other. What are all the types of network topologies? Bus, star, ring, mesh, tree and hybrid or the types of network topologies. Now we will see one by one in brief. Bus topology. Bus topology is the simplest of network topologies. In Look at the picture. In this type of topology, all the nodes are connected to the single cable called bus by the help of interface connectors. This central cable is the backbone of the network and it is known as bus. Every workstation communicate with other device through this bus. A signal from the source is broadcasted and it travels to all the workstation connected to the bus cable. Although the message is broadcasted to all machines, but only the intended recipient whose IP address matches accepts it. If IP address does not matches, machine discards it. It is easy to set up and extend the bus network. The cost is less. It requires less cable length. It has some disadvantages also. Difficult to identify and troubleshoot the problem at individual station. Efficiency of bus network reduces as the number of devices connected to it increases. Not suitable for network with heavy traffic. Security is low because all the computer receive the sent signal from the source. Next to topology is ring topology. Look at the picture. Ring topology is a computer network configuration where the devices are connected to each other in a circular shape such that they make a closed loop. Each workstation is connected to two other components on either side and it communicates with these two adjacent neighbors. Each packet is sent around the ring until it reaches its final destination. Data travels around the network in one direction. Its advantages are all the data flow in one direction reducing the chance of packet collision. Data can transfer between workstation at high speed. Additional workstation can be added without impacting the performance of the network. Its disadvantages are all the data being transferred over the network must pass through each workstation on network which make it slower than star topology. The entire network will be impacted if one workstation shuts down. Next topology is star. In star topology, all the workstations are connected to central device called hub, which may be a hub or a router or a switch with point to point connection. All the data on star topology passes through the central device before reaching the intended destination. Hub acts as a junction to connect different nodes present in the network and at the same time it manages and controls the whole of the network. These central device can also communicate with other hub of different network. Its advantages are easy to connect new nodes or devices. In star topology, new nodes are added easily without affecting the rest of the network. 
components can also be removed easily failure of one node or link does not affect the rest of the network centralized management of network through the use of hub or switches or central computer its disadvantages are if central computer hub or switches fail entire network goes down implementation cost is high when using switches or routers or central network device next next topology we are going to see is mesh topology in mesh topology every node has a connection to every other node in the network there are two types of mesh topology one is full mesh topology and the next one is partial mesh topology what is full mesh topology look at the picture full mesh topology occurs when every node has a circuit connecting to it every other node in a network full mesh node is expensive but if one node fails network traffic can be directed to any of the other node full mesh node is used for backbone networks partial mesh topology with partial mesh topology some nodes are organized in full mesh scheme but others are connected to one or two in the network the general advantages of mesh topology are data can be transmitted from different devices simultaneously this topology can withstand traffic expansion and modification in topology can be done without disturbing other nodes its disadvantage include it has the high chance of redundancy in many network connection cost of network is also expensive setup and maintenance is difficult in mesh topology the next topology is tree topology tree topology is also known as star bus topology it incorporates the characteristics of both bus topology and star topology in tree topology star networks are connected using bus this main cable seems like a main stem of a tree and other star networks are as the branches it is also called expanded star topology if you look at the picture you could understand its advantages are expansion of network is easy we can divide the network into segment which can be easily managed and maintained error detection and correction is easy each segment is provided with dedicated point to point wiring to central hub its disadvantages are if main bus cable breaks the whole network is crippled if more and more nodes and segments are added maintenance become difficult the last topology we are going to see is hybrid topology what is hybrid hybrid means mixture of two different things similarly hybrid topology means integration of two or more different topologies combination is done according to the requirement of organization example connecting ring topology in one department with bus topology in another department results in hybrid topology connecting same type of topology is not termed as hybrid topology 
star ring and star bus network or the common examples of hybrid network look at the picture this hybrid topology is a combination of star ring and bus topology its advantages include troubleshooting is easy it is an expandable network very reliable and easy to detect fault system its disadvantages are complexity of design it is a tough job for designers to design this architecture cost of hub is expensive hub used here are intelligent to work with different architecture hub should work even if the part of network fails so the hub used here is very costly costly infrastructure they require lot of cables cooling system sophisticated network devices and so on to implement the infrastructure thus network topologies are explained shortly please do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you